Hi there, and welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of the 1992 rock comedy movie, Wayne's World. We will revisit the stars of the film and update them as of 2021. So, grab your Wayne's World then and now ticket. And please remember to hit the notification bell and like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the video. Mike Myers plays Wayne Campbell, the host of Wayne's World. He lives with his parents and spends his free time partying with his friends. In and around the popular metal scene of the early 1990s, his best friend is Garth Albert, with whom he hosts a late-night cable access show from the basement of his parents' house. Myers is a multi-award winning actor, producer and screenwriter who has been inducted into Canada's and Hollywood's Walk of Fame. In 2017, he was named an Officer of the Order of Canada for his extensive and acclaimed body of comedic work. Myers is set to star in a new Netflix comedy series, The Pentaverate, which has been commissioned for an initial run of six episodes. He is now 58 years old. Dana Carvey plays Garth Alger, Wayne's best friend and co-host. Garth is socially awkward and much more nerdy and introverted than his more outgoing friends. His dream girl works at a donut shop that their group frequents, Stan Makita's Donuts, but he is unable to work up the nerve to talk to her, as well as being an actor. Carvey is a stand-up comedian, impressionist, screenwriter and producer. He still appears in the odd TV or film role and hosts a comedy podcast called Fantastic with Dana Carvey, featuring many sketches involving his many celebrity impressions, as well as interviews with family members and other friends from the stand-up comedy world. Carvey is now 66 years old. Tia Carrer played Cassandra Wong, the lead vocalist and bassist of local rock band Crucial Taunt. She and her band perform gigs around town. Notably at a heavy metal bar frequented by Wayne and his friends, called the Gasworks, Cassandra is a Cantonese immigrant who claims to have learned English at college and from the Police Academy films. Carrier is an actress, singer and former model, who got her first big break as a regular on the daytime soap opera General Hospital. Since then, she has appeared in numerous TV shows and films. In addition to acting, she has won two Grammy Awards for her music. Carrier is now 54 years old. Rob Lowe played Benjamin Kane, a sleazy, Chicago-based television producer. Benjamin is good-looking, well-educated, and highly successful, but cynical, manipulative, and ruthless in his approach to business. Garth believes that if Benjamin were an ice cream flavor, he'd be pralines and dick. Lowe is a multi-award-winning actor, producer, director, and philanthropist. His big screen breakthrough came in the 1983 film The Outsiders. He has played recurring roles on a number of popular TV series, notably, the West Wing for which he received nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award and two Golden Globe Awards. His other TV roles include starring in the drama Brothers and Sisters, the sitcom Parks and Recreation, the medical drama Code Black, and the critically praised drama 911, Lone Star. Lowe is now 57 years old. Laura Flynn Boyle played Stacy, Wayne's troubled ex-girlfriend. She does not understand or accept that Wayne has broken up with her and still acts like they are a couple. Boyle is probably best known for her role as Donna Hayward in the ABC cult television series Twin Peaks. In 1993, she had a lead role in John Dahl's critically acclaimed film Red Rock West, followed by roles in Threesome, Cafe Society, and Happiness. From 1997 to 2003, Boyle played assistant district attorney Helen Gamble in the ABC television series The Practice, for which she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for an Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. After a five-year break, in 2020, Boyle returned to acting to star as Grace in the film Death in Texas. She is now 51 years old. Brian Doyle Murray played Noah Vanderhoff, a video arcade magnate and a prospective client of Benjamin Kane, as well as an actor. Doyle Murray is a comedian and a screenwriter. He is the older brother of actor Bill Murray. Over the last five decades, he has appeared in numerous films, including Caddyshack, Scrooged, Ghostbusters 2, Groundhog Day, and The Razor's Edge. He also co-starred on the TBS sitcom Sullivan and Son, where he played the foul-mouthed Hank Murphy. Doyle Murray has been nominated for three Emmy Awards for his work on Saturday Night Live. He is now 75 years old. Colleen Camp plays Mrs. Vanderhoff, Noah Vanderhoff's beautiful and adoring wife. Camp is an actress and producer, appearing in many supporting roles in film and TV for nearly five decades. She has spent a lot of her career making a living playing police officers, playing that role more than any other female actor. In 2014, 
Camp co-produced a Broadway production of Love Letters, and in 2015 co-produced Lee Roth's thriller Knock Knock, in which she subsequently appeared in a supporting role in the film. She is now 68 years old. Kurt Fuller played Russell Finley, a producer and director of many of the television shows produced by Benjamin. Russell has a reputation as something of a hitmaker, having won awards and acclaim for many of the programs he has produced. Fuller has appeared in a number of film and television shows, including Knight Rider, Time Cop, Quantum Leap, Murder She Wrote, and Desperate Housewives, just to name a few. On stage, Fuller played the part of Frank in the U.S. premiere of Stephen Burkhoff's play Catch. The following year he reprised the role off-Broadway at the West Side Arts Theater. He is now 68 years old. Chris Farley plays a knowledgeable, well-informed security guard at an Alice Cooper concert taking place in Milwaukee. The actor and comedian was known for his loud, energetic comedic style. He was a member of Chicago's Second City Theater. He was also a cast member of the NBC sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live between 1990 and 1995, as well as Wayne's World. He appeared in films such as Coneheads, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, Beverly Hills Ninja, and Billy Madison, to name a few. Sadly, Farley died of a drug overdose in 1997 at the age of 33. Meatloaf plays Tiny, a doorman at the gasworks who Wayne and Garth are in with. He allows them to skip the line at the door and informs them about the band's playing and if they're any good or not, as well as appearing in many television and film roles. Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell trilogy has sold more than 65 million albums worldwide, making it one of the best-selling albums in history. He also earned a Grammy Award for best solo rock vocal performance for the song I'd Do Anything For Love. Meatloaf has recently stated his intention to record a new album. He is now 74 years old. Frank DeLeo plays rock promoter Frankie Sharp, the Mr. Big and CEO of Sharp Records. Frank takes a very hands-on approach to his business, driving back and forth across the country to find new acts to sign to his label. He is afraid of flying and thus takes his stretch limousine everywhere. DeLeo was an American music industry executive and manager from 1984 to 1989, and again in 2009, he was Michael Jackson's manager. He also appeared in six major motion pictures including Goodfellas, Wayne's World 2, and The Kiss of Death. Sadly, DeLeo died in 2011 after experiencing complications following heart surgery. He was 63 years old. Ed O'Neill plays Glenn the darkly disturbed manager at Stan Makita's Donuts. According to Wayne, he works at the donut shop 24 hours a day. He makes frequent references to death and implies that he once murdered someone in the heat of passion. O'Neill is a multi-award winning actor and comedian. In television, his roles include Al Bundy in the sitcom Married with Children, for which he was nominated for two Golden Globes, and as Jay Pritchett on the award-winning sitcom Modern Family. In film, he has also appeared in Little Giants, the Bone Collector in Sun Dogs, and has done voice work for the Wreck-It Ralph franchise and Finding Dory. He is now 75 years old. Michael DeLuise plays Alan, one of Wayne and Garth's close friends and a loyal crew member. DeLuise is an actor, film director, and producer. He is the son of actor Dom DeLuise and actress Carol Arthur, and brother to actors Peter and David DeLuise. He made his film debut in 1979 opposite his father Dom, in the comedy Hot Stuff. In 1990, he landed his first major role, on the Fox TV series 21 Jump Street. He had recurring television roles on Sequest DSV, The Gilmore Girls and NYPD Blue as well as guest appearances on CSI NY, Lost, and Stargate SG-1. He is now 52 years old. Lee Turgeson plays Terry, Wayne and Garth's head cameraman and good buddy, who openly expresses platonic love for them. Turgeson is known for his roles as Chester Chet Donnelly in Weird Science, as Tobias Beecher in HBO's prison drama Oz, and as Evan Wright in Generation Kill. He has also guest starred in numerous other series including CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Criminal Minds, and Law and & Order, to name a few. On stage he has appeared in several off-Broadway productions including Long Lost and Rapture. He is now 56 years old. Dan Bell plays Neil, Wayne and Garth's second cameraman and production assistant, as well as his part in Wayne's World. Bell appeared in 1990's superhero horror movie, Dark Man, which starred Liam Neeson, in which Bell played a ruthless henchman. In 1993 he reprised his role as Neil in Wayne's World 2. He has also had roles in Con Air and Catch Me If You Can. He now runs his own casting agency based in Los Angeles, and is the father of Finnegan Bell, lead singer of alternative rockers, Love Ghost. Bell's age is unknown. 
Sean Gregory Sullivan plays Phil, Wayne and Garth's friend who works at an auto repair shop. Phil is always partied out, a state of heavy intoxication which renders him unable to clearly recall events of the previous evening. Sullivan also had roles in Back to the Future Part 3 and 54. He currently portrays the older number 5 in the Netflix adaptation of The Umbrella Academy. He is now 62 years old. Mike Haggerty played Dave, a controller at Cable 10 who gets paid off from his job. He tells Glenn, the manager at Makita's Donuts of his misfortune, to which Glenn gives his usual disturbing advice. Of what he'd do, Haggerty has appeared in many popular comedy shows over the years, including Curb Your Enthusiasm, Friends, The Wonder Years and Lucky Louie, to name a few. He was also a regular on The George Carlin Show. Although the majority of his career has been spent in television, he has had supporting roles in a handful of films. Haggerty is now 67 years old. Frederick Coffin played Officer Koharski, an enthusiastic local beat cop who is kind and helpful to Wayne, Garth and their friends, as well as an actor. Coffin was a talented singer, songwriter, and musician. He also appeared in many TV shows including Kojak, Hill Street Blues, Moonlighting, and The Twilight Zone, just to name a few. In 2003, he played the role of Detective Verrill in the thriller film Identity. Sadly, this would turn out to be his last feature film. He died later that year from lung cancer, age 60. Donna Dixon plays Garth's dream woman, who works at Stan Mikita's Donuts. Every time Garth sees her he becomes a nervous wreck. During the happy ending of Wayne's world, she tells Garth she loves him. Dixon began her career as a model, winning several competitions throughout the states. After moving into television, she portrayed Allison Hayes in the NBC drama Behringers and also co-starred with Tom Hanks in the early 1980s sitcom Bosom Buddies. Dixon met actor Dan Aykroyd on the set of the 1983 movie Dr. Detroit. Months after filming the couple married, she is now 64 years old. Ioni Sky plays Elise, the casual girlfriend of Benjamin's who introduces him to Wayne's world. Sky made her film debut in the 1986 thriller River's Edge, before gaining mainstream exposure for her starring role in the 1989 romantic teen comedy drama Say Anything. She continued to appear in films throughout the 1990s and 2000s. In addition to acting, Sky is also an artist and has authored several children's books. She is now 51 years old. Charles Nolan plays Ron Paxton, the hapless inventor who tries to market his wacky new invention, The Suck Cut, on Wayne and Garth's show. Nolan has appeared in over 100 different films and television episodes. He was a supporting character on The West Wing for seven seasons, for which he received two Primetime Emmy Awards for contribution to the drama. He also had a supporting role on ER for two seasons where he also received honors for outstanding performances. Nolan's age is unknown. Robert Patrick has a cameo as T-1000, reprising his role from Terminator 2, Judgment Day, an officer who pulls Wayne over when he is speeding on his way to see Cassandra. Patrick is known for his portrayals of villainous characters and commanding authority figures. He is also a Saturn Award winner with four nominations to his name. He has appeared in many film and television shows, mostly science fiction, fantasy, or horror-based. Patrick is now 62 years old. Carmen Philpy plays Old Man Withers. He runs a haunted amusement park. At the end of the film, he's arrested by police and disguised as Benjamin in the Scooby-Doo ending. Philpy starred in many TV and film roles, including Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Life Stinks, and The Wedding Singer. He also starred in the 1988 horror film Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. In television, he made many guest appearances, starring in shows such as Beretta, Barney Miller, Quantum Leap, Married with Children, and Growing Pains, just to name a few. He sadly died in 2003, aged 80. Alice Cooper plays a star cameo role, where he performs his song Feed My Frankenstein at his concert. Wayne and Garth go to see him backstage afterwards, where they then receive a lecture on the history of Milwaukee. Alice Cooper is a multi-award winning singer, songwriter, and actor whose career spans over five decades. Known for his raspy voice and a stage show featuring numerous props and stage illusions, Cooper is considered by many music peers to be the godfather of shock rock. Alice Cooper is now 73 years old. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.